one way of applying effects to a track is by inserting them directly on the channel strip like this. So for example, this track has compressor, auto filter, fuzzwa, and channel EQ. We call these insert effects. But there's another way of applying effects with more control, and that is by sending the signal of this channel to another channel that will be dedicated to effects. We call them send effects or send and return effects, and I'm going to show you how to set up one. So first of all, come to the channel strip and click where it says send, bus, and pick an empty bus. Bus is a pathway that connects one channel to another. I'm going to click bus one. And as soon as I do so, if I open up the mixer, you can see that Logic has created this new track called AUX1. And this is an auxiliary track, which has its input set to bus one. So basically bus one is connecting this channel to this AUX channel. Now, if I play the track, there's nothing coming into this AUX channel yet, but if I turn up the send level here, you can see that the AUX channel is now receiving the signal. So with this setup, I can now insert effects on the AUX channel and only affect the signal that is coming in here without affecting the sound source. So essentially, I am separating the dry and the wet signal, dry being the unaffected original signal and the wet being the affected signal. Let's try adding echo here. And the first thing that you need to do when setting up a send effect is to set the wet level of the effect plugin to 100% and dry to 0%. It might not be labeled as dry and wet, it might be a mix control, and in that case you need to push the mix level to 100%. This is so we will only hear the affected signal coming out of the aux channel. So that looks good. And I'm going to gradually increase the send level so you will hear the wet signal being blended with the dry signal. Let's name this echo. And once I set this up as a send effect, I can send other tracks to the same bus and to this aux channel as well and apply the same effect. Let's try that on this kick. I'm going to select bus one echo and turn the send level up. If I solo the aux channel, I can hear the wet signal only. And if I mute it, I can bypass the effect as well. So using send effects helps you achieve consistency in your mix because you can apply the same effect to multiple tracks at the same time. Also, it's a common practice to use time-based effects like reverb and delay as send effects. Now, additionally, if you want to automate the send level, you can. All you have to do is go into the automation mode, change the mode to touch, and during the playback, move the send level. And you can see the parameter is now set to send one. It's also possible to automate the aux channel itself, but in order to do that, you need to make this track visible in the main area. So in the mixer, control click on the aux channel, select create track, and now this aux channel has a track header. And now I can record or write automation just like any other tracks. So let's just say I want to automate the volume, I'm just going to write it in. So let's say the send level stays the same, but the volume of the wet signal is going to go up. 